coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web and today we're going to get into the final of the three new quest bosses that appeared with the October update and this one can be found in Agni, the Agni region in Agni and it's called the Agni Dungeon here. So the Imprisoned Tyrant, it is a ghastly spirit is sealed away deep within this gloomy dungeon home to dark secrets left from the Agni Empire. So um, this mission here guys is probably hands down one of the biggest pains in this side you'll ever have to deal with um honestly in this mission guys do not be surprised if you have to gem it to win it um because it is pretty much just that difficult that's just the bottom line of it um it's just it's not an easy quest at all not at all so um the boss is fire type so i brought tiara so we can be dealing with the increased damage here definitely want to make sure we're doing that but um this boss is a pain in the side for multiple reasons so I'm basically just going to break down how this boss works um one thing you want to make sure you do is bring as many revive items as possible because I can guarantee you're going to be using them. you will be using revives guaranteed <laughs> um so um this boss works in a few phases um first of all as soon as you start the battle um he deals he can do a single target attack that deals 10k worth of damage and he can do he does that every two turns so um hopefully you brought a darvin shell or something like that and if you did then hopefully you can use that in order to just mitigate the damage outright and it won't hurt you so bad but uh if you don't mitigate it then someone's gonna die that's basically the bottom line of it um unless you're bringing a squad that can allow your units to have over 10,000 HP that move is going to kill them so big 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 important role against these bosses guys is to have damage mitigation on every turn if you can do it it helps a lot believe me um, this boss also does damage mitigation on itself every two turns so um, he doesn't I've beat him once before and when I battled him, he didn't mitigate it so much that you did one damage, but he did mitigate the amount of damage that you uh, caused against him a considerable amount. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well. And then here's where the fun comes in, guys. Once you get this boss to 40% HP or less, um, he deals a single target attack that is going to kill one of your units. There's just nothing you can do about it one of your units are going to die it's going to happen and that's why I was telling you be sure to bring revives um, bring as many as you can um, because you're gonna need it someone's gonna die it's inevitable against this boss and that is the main reason he's such a pain in the side honestly um, because you can't even mitigate the damage when he does that someone is dying guaranteed so you got to deal with that um, at 40% he's also going to have an attack and defense buff and then at, from that point on at any point in time he can start casting uh, AOE at a random point. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it it's just at any given time he could do an AOE so having damage mitigation will help you there as well. And then last but not least once you get him down to 25% HP or less then remember that attack that I told you he does at 40% where he kills one of your units and you can't mitigate it or nothing like that well this time he's gonna do it twice so there goes two more units down <laughs> so uh, yep there goes two more units so um, hopefully you brought enough revives to be able to give them up and hopefully you don't use any lose any units uh, beforehand so that three revives will be enough to get your whole team back in the game and keep it alive. So um, that's basically the strategy for this guy. Um, I'm going to try to do it the best I can. But I'm going to tell you guys straight up front, I may have to gem it this video. I just may have to do it just to clear it for you guys. Um, so that's why I'm telling you don't be surprised if you have to gem this one guys. Because this guy is a beast. He is a beast big time. 
Um, this will be the second and final time that I do battle with him. I'm telling you right now, I'm only doing this again because I gotta bring you guys a video. I have to. <laughs> but uh, after this video, forget it. That is it. All right. So there he is, guys. Emperor Verdute, the big strong monster he is, man. But uh, just gonna have to try to follow the strategy I explained earlier. So here we go. He's really tough, guys. This this guy's really tough. So you see he did that single target move on my Darwin shell and hurt him pretty good, pretty good. And you see as well he has he has his damage mitigation in effect. So um not really going to try to hammer him too hard this turn. I'm going to see if I can wait it out to the following turn and then hammer him then. So uh I don't know if I want to go without damage mitigation though. That may be dangerous that may be dangerous um let's try it i'm gonna try to go without damage mitigation this turn to save him for next turn hopefully that won't cost me a revive early i'm hoping because it would be senseless to go crazy on him with his damage mitigation buff He's, as you can see you just don't deal the damage it'd probably be best to just uh guard honestly but that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad okay here we go um, back in the game I'm gonna heal my Darwin shell and let's do it to it That super strong attack again. So once again, just not gonna go too crazy with anything while his damage mitigation is up. Just gonna attack him just to build up some BB gaze and the next turn we do it again. Definitely gonna use Darwin Shell. Hit my Maxwell pretty good there. Alright, so we'll heal Maxwell. And then we're just gonna beat him up. We're almost approaching that nasty point, guys. Okay. Alright, so this turn somebody may die guys. This is the turn. If I can get him below 
No, oh, he picked your mama shell. That buster. Okay. Uh, should I revive her now? Hmm. I don't know. Um, let's just go. Let's see what happens. This should definitely be the turn where he's about to go ham on one of them. Gonna be a death in the family here soon. And there it is. Alright, so the damage can be mitigated. Because that's supposed to deal 100,000. But as you saw, ain't nobody got no 50,000 freaking HP, man. Nobody. So, uh, yeah. It's one down. He killed my Michelle early by focusing on it, man. So, I'm just going to have to, uh, keep it down to five. Michelle isn't uber important in this battle. Would I like to have her? Of course. But,. You know what you're gonna do. All right, so his uh, let's see here. We gotta heal Maxwell, and then gonna mitigate. So when I get him down to 25%, we're likely going to lose. Well, we are going to lose two more units. You know, likely we are going to lose two more units. Alright, cool beans. Wasn't too rough there. And there's one. And there's two. Great. Alright, so I don't know what the heck took so long, but I'm glad I didn't touch nothing else because I would have attacked and I would have been an angry guy. That would have threw my whole plan off. <laughs> Alright, let's heal back up in the good shape. And I think we'll be able to complete this thing with what we got going here, so um, I'm definitely using Darwin Shell. I'm going to try to mitigate damage from here on out. That's what I want to do. No more one hit KOs though. That, that should be the end of those. Alright, Fujin on Darwin. I'm going to keep damage mitigation up for the rest of the battle. I think we can do it. Picking on my Maxwell. Picking on my Maxwell. Thanks for picking on Darwin Shell. Now I don't have to use a Fujin potion this time around.
Well, this should be it, guys. Should be the end of this one. All right, so we were able to do it without jimming. That's good. So that's how you want to do it, guys. That is how you want to do it. No gems, baby. So we lost Michelle. He focused on her good, man. She just couldn't take it. <laughs> she couldn't take it. So lost Michelle, but we were able to keep everyone else alive. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yeah, buddy. Level up. Nice. All right, guys. So don't forget, you get a gem and a spear frog upon completion. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon, guys. Later.